r slash ask reddit why do you like to be alive someone's got to feed my tamagotchi cause there are pies to be eaten pie is a good reason to be alive pro tip take up baking and you can eat all the pie you want your friends will love you two semicolon it's not necessarily that i like to be alive now but the nature of life as a constant ebb and flow of thrills and disappointments implies a coming wave of joy sooner or later. Thinking face. I hope it does for you. Occasional serotonin. It hits me every once in a while. Also garlic bread. Serotonin caused by garlic bread. Every time I accomplish something, or finish an assignment, I just feel so ducking proud of myself. I feel so lucky to be alive and in the place in the world I have. I saw you an indie game developer. Good luck with any projects you may be working on. It's a tough business. I haven't tried all the restaurants in my area and it actually has been a good motivator to cherish the whole life thing. That is surprisingly extremely simple, and cute, and beautiful. I need a new area, M. I have a friend that's going through some tough times so I like to check up on him every day and encourage him. Pretty sure no one will find this comment but hey, today was a good day for me, I just got my first electric piano and I'm eager to learn this instrument, now that is a reason to be alive, music, I wanna master this thing before I go, edit, thank you kind strangers for all the awards and all the reply comments wishing me luck, really made me feel great, I've been wanting to play the piano for about 3 years now but only a few days ago I managed to convince my parents to get me one. I've been pretty depressive for the past few years for reasons but I hope this thing can get me back on track. To all of you who are in the same boat with me, I wish you all well. We're all gonna make it. There's a lot of places I still want to go. Books I want to read, movies I want to see. Even if I don't get to experience it all before I die, I like the anticipation of it all. This right here, very relatable. Also imagine all the cool stuff that might happen in the future. Watching sunrises with a hot cup of tea. Singing my favorite songs in a place with good acoustics. Using really soft yarn to knit something nice for someone. Calling a friend and hearing the joy in their voice when they realize it's me. Snow days. Making s'mores at a bonfire. It's all the little things. I hope you can find all the little things you love in life. There's so many. Please be safe, friend. Edit. Thank you all so much for the awards. Including my first silver. BC I'm fastest sperm. I am speed. I fought for it and got it back. Stood on a bridge in December but family and therapy got me back on track. There are still a lot of lost emotions and confusion within me but my therapist and me are working on it. That is the shit. Right there. Being tough enough. Or desperate enough. To work with whatever therapy can throw at you. Doing that can make you invincible, in a strange, counterintuitive way. Being dead kinda boring NGL. Edit. Stop giving awards cringe strangers. The simplicity in this post is almost poetic. Donuts and dogs. Triple D. Donuts. Dogs. Dongs. There's an old man I sometimes visit who can talk your ear off for hours on end. You'll sit down with him, and he'll start to unload his stories one after the other, of his old friends, his years in the radio industry, and his misadventures chasing women. Once, halfway through his usual ramble, he stopped, turned to me, and said you know what, life is fun, and it stinks to know that I'm getting close to the end, because the whole thing's just been so damned fun. That's always stuck with me, it's my belief that the person who's had the most successful life is the one who, when it's all said and done, has the best stories to tell his grandkids. There's some shit I still need to do the list keeps growing so it's kind of an ongoing thing. To enjoy and experience things that make me truly happy while I still can. There's always opportunity to enjoy life, even if it doesn't seem like it, and I'm glad I learned that rather than giving up. Right now it's really hard for me but I'm really trying to find happiness in small things, like the early morning tea and parasite winning best picture. So yeah keep feeding that stupid brain some mini candies to distract it. Dude, happiness in small things is absolutely the secret to true happiness. I bought a really nice water bottle a while back, 
insulated, easy open lid. I was no joke riding that high for about 6 weeks. It's a ducking great bottle. Spite. I'm more of a Fanta guy myself. It seems better than being dead. Not better than dead, but once alive, dying becomes scary. Man. All the good in this world, joking around and laughing with your friends until you can't breathe anymore, a random dog running up to you to sniff your butt, getting your first kiss, the smells from bakeries when you head out in the morning, staring at the moon late at night knowing there's someone out there doing the same, hugging your parents after not seeing them for a while, cuddling with you so after you did the beep peep scatteredly do, a stranger's baby smiling at you when you're waiting for a bus, the taste of the watermelon on a hot summer day and laying on the couch under a blanket watching the flames in the fireplace on a cold winter evening, listening to the music in your bed on a Friday night knowing you don't have to set up an alarm for tomorrow, texting your crush late late at night both of you being dead as tired but neither one wanting it to stop, the feeling of accomplishment when you finally learn to tie your shoes yourself, when you finally reach the bathroom after having to pee really bad, telling a joke and the whole group of people laughs, reading a book at the seaside while the sun unbeknownst to you slowly burns in a dong a sibling drew on your back with the sunscreen, finally beating a game you've been playing for weeks, making a meme yourself and thousands of strangers on reddit like it too, when you inconsistently water your cactus but the cactus is just fine with it and it blooms to thank you and you didn't even know cactuses can bloom. When you're really tired after a workout and your muscles are sore the next day but hey you know you did something good for yourself. Starving yourself because you know grandma is going to cook your favorite meal and you have to eat it all. I survived cancer. I was given weeks to live and miraculously got remission. Life post cancer is a terrible struggle. Mentally and physically. But I wouldn't trade it for the alternative. I now get to watch my adorable niece grow up. I get to look at the world with a completely different perspective. I get to enjoy being with my wife and traveling the world as much as possible. Death would solve a lot of the pain I currently live with, but the eternal sadness it would cause my family would haunt me. I keep hoping something worth living for will happen to me. Maybe it's up to you to make it happen. If you keep waiting for something to change, chances are slim it will. You can start small. Everyone's first steps are small in a way. Honestly, a good story. I used to devour libraries as a kid. I usually have something going on in the background while I work. And I listen to fiction podcasts voraciously. There's always a new story. But that moment when you find a good one and it connects with you? Chef's kiss. Food and Shrek. But mainly Shrek. I've gotten the opportunity to live and enjoy doing what I do. I've found interesting friends and hobbies and I'm generally happy with where I am. Edit. Spelling. My firstborn was born 10 hours ago. The woods are lovely. Dark and deep. But I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep. Robert Frost. I like having connection with other humans. It is the only thing that feels worth it to me. But it's also the thing I don't like about being alive. Seeing the joy on my kids' faces when I come home from work, their excitement warms my heart. I never knew my father, and my wife is pregnant with our first child. I like being alive because I'm about to get the chance to be the dad I needed when I was growing up. Life. Man. The dude voice. The dude abides. I love my friends. I legit do not know what it'll be without them. All them without me. You guys are loved y'all. Really the only reason is my family and friends. The only reason I want wouldn't to die is because I know it would hurt them. Humanity. Those rare moments of humanity makes me love being alive and being human. Even though I need to remind myself sometimes. I like to be alive because my husband and family give me joy and purpose. Ultimately, I need to not be so hard on myself sometimes. And I think most people could relate to that. I need to take more joys in my successes rather than think. Cool. Finally didn't duck something up. Which is what I tend to do. Because I'm this quiet, introverted character in someone's story and I want to see how it plays out. Terrible tragedy befalls the introverted character. Oh interesting. I wonder how the writers will handle this. I've got a lot to do and I'm starting to build the future I always wanted. Edit. Thanks for the award. That means a lot to me. 
been working some long hours and making a lot of sacrifices to set myself up. It's still early days, but I'm not letting anything stop me. You got this. Pretty sure no one will see this but I've actually been thinking about suicide the last couple months. I don't do it because I hope something, or someone, worth living will appear in my life. Edit. Thanks guys this really helps. I've been bullied and currently I'm depressed most of the time. Things have gone a little better this last month so I hope that it'll gradually get better. There are many things that make me like being alive. Like my best friends, my husband, his daughter, my dog, a future. I just have to wade through all the bullshit to enjoy them. Edit. We've been together for almost 5 years now. And his daughter is my stepdaughter. It was at her request and I won't call her my daughter until she asks me to. Pho is pretty delicious. Thanks for that award train. Chief. It makes me and the people I care about happy. My husband and our dogs. All throughout high school I told myself that I wouldn't live beyond 21 years old and truly believed it. Depression kicked my ass back then. My now husband and I met when I was 19 and I swear he saved me. 4 years later and I've never been so happy in my entire life. Wearing a hat. Edit. I replied to myself before the upvotes. Now I'm editing this original post because I've farmed enough karma. Credit Norm McDonald for this little tidbit of humor. When explaining why life was great, he said, loose quote, you can wear a hat, go to Denny's. Please look up Norm's takes on death and dying. Seth MacFarlane asked him to voice death for a reason. No doubt. I hold a terrible secret. There's a skeleton inside of me. So if I die it will be released. It is a burden I must bear. To protect the world from skeletons. Feelings. I love to feel. I have no idea if that will be something I can experience once I'm gone. And it's rather very fascinating. Experiencing in general is probably the better term. I can try so much and there still is something I don't know anything about. A new kind of cooking. A new sport. Climbing another mountain. Seeing new things. Having the next fall come in and see the leaves in a new pattern of red, orange and yellow. And this is just without leaving my usual environment. The sheer difference it would make if I just now took a plane to somewhere in Asia and start a new life there is mind boggling. But beautiful. I love that about life. It never gets old. My two adorable kids and my awesome wife. I don't. A lot of the time. Edit. I'm medicated and go to therapy already. Thanks for the concern. I didn't get much say in the matter but I guess I'll enjoy the ride. I have two kids. Every day they annoy the crap out of me and each other. But they also bring me great joy. They are smart. Funny and find joy in the world in ways that I never knew possible. I like learning things and creating things. Friends and family. I started enjoying it. I have good friends and I am having a lot of fun with them so it's not so bad anymore. Seeing people's faces when they get a nice text. Getting the window seat on a plane. Playing with babies. Flipping through a stack of records. Hitting the rev limiter. Perfectly ripe watermelons. My dog. Everything lavender scented. A goal scored with 2 minutes left in the third. When the coffee cream sugar balance is flawless. Painting a room with friends. The electrical buzz when you walk downtown after rain. Overdressing for events. Finding something you thought was lost forever. I could write a million of these and they change every day. Primary reason is. I don't want to make my family sad again. I've also learned how to handle my depression and anxiety better. I have wonderful people in my life that I can count on when I need them and I have some exciting things planned for the future. So it would be a shame to end it all now. Food, music and weed. I really don't. I work a dead end job. Live with chronic pain. But every two months me and my brother we create bags on basic needs. Clothes gift cards to shops hygiene stuff and go into out local city and give them to people. We have created real friendship with some of the people we gave it to. I have seen people manage to get back on their feet and get sorted. That's what keeps me going knowing even a small thing can help and maybe help that person clean up for an interview or keep five them going for a few extra days. I know that this will probably never get read, but that actually works as a metaphor for my life. 
I don't care if no one knows about it. I am just happy that it exists. My existence is nothing more than that. And witnessing existence is in itself an amazing thing. I battled depression for a while because I wasn't able to find meaning in my life. And every now and then it comes creeping back. But I exist. And I think it's amazing. When life is shitty. Or fantastic. I just remember that I exist. Because that's all I really am. Bro. You made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content more It's free and that's a great price. 